Okay, welcome back everyone in YouTube world there. This is Crew again coming at you from our Tuscany farm. And we are going to be in episode... This is episode 6 maybe if I'm not mistaken. And we just got this here where our field is ready for harvest. I am so excited. Glad you can join me. I hope that you guys have uh, a little bit of time to enjoy the, uh, the harvest here. I want to go ahead and get this out of the way. Just, uh, uh, just to, uh, you know, tuck this away over here. And let's see. So we're going to start up our combine. This is going to be our first time using this on the map. It's our first harvest. We're in late summer. So we got two fields that we're going to be able to go and get done. I'm glad you guys can come along for the ride. Let's bring this out a little bit. Okay. All right, let's see. Unfold. Um, so pipe out. No, we don't need anything with that. And let's go ahead and turn it on. And we're going to go and get our headlines done. You know what? I'll probably probably wind up just doing this myself because there's really nothing else that I can do just yet. Yeah, so I'm excited. We got our canola going, and um, you know this will be this is our first harvest. Everybody here on the farm is all excited. The, the helpers, the misses, if there were helpers again. Remember, we were kind of pretending that maybe this was uh, uh, just uh, you know the husband, the wife, maybe. Uh, Maybe one of the kids with them. Maybe one hired hand. You can always use the extra help. Yeah, I'm stoked. Oh, by the way, you will notice, uh, probably when I hit down the other end, that the sheep that I bought, they're no longer with us. Um, I wish it could, I could say that it was you know, because I decided just to sell them, and, you know, they died. Very unfortunately that they died. Um, when I was taking care of the fields, there were a few times that I put it on uh, hire a worker, and I stepped away just because I wanted to get stuff completed, and I figured, well, you know, if I was in the kitchen or I was doing something else, I would just hire a worker. What I failed to realize was how long I was away and the days started to go by. And the next thing you know, I was on day four. I only had enough food for three days. 
and they weren't there anymore. So, that was a really, uh, yeah, it was a real bad situation. <laughs> um, so we, did, we definitely have to work harder to make sure that we have the livestock handled. It wasn't that I didn't have grass for them or any kind of food. I, you know, I got, I can get plenty of food for them. I just let the days go by and it got away from me. And I totally forgot to watch, you know, that three-day scenario. And not to mention, when I had animals before, I was always, I didn't play on seasons mode. So they never died. Um, so yes, that was quite sad. Um, I, you know, I'm truly sorry that they died. But we will go ahead at some point. We will buy more. In fact, next time I buy it, I'm going to buy 10. I think 10 is a good number to get some production going. And then I, I uh, will make sure that we have plenty of bales for them so that this doesn't happen again. And we'll also make sure that we work a little harder trying to maintain uh, them. That, that got away from me. So I do apologize. I'm sorry that they're not there. They used to just, you know, roam around out there doing, doing their thing. So, yeah, we'll have to... Uh, We'll have to start over with that. So. What does this hold? This holds about, I guess, 4,000 liters, maybe? I'm thinking. It looks like a real, really nice harvest, too. You know, everything looks real fluffy, real, real hearty, you know? It don't, doesn't seem to be too thin. Even when you look overhead, it looks pretty good. So, I think we may have done a good job on this one. We had three stages of fertilization that we did. Um, so, I think, uh, you know, we had the plowing that we did first. So, you know, our yield on this should be very good first small field I mean it is a small field but um, yeah and we're gonna <coughs> we're gonna make sure that we get a decent um, what was I trying to say I was thinking about something and then I lost the train of thought <coughs> Well, at any rate, um, what I have to think about now, because this is my maybe second or third time doing the, um, the Seasons mod, and 4200, okay, cool. And I struggled with it my first time, so I'm hoping... I'm hoping at this time we do a little bit better. I know I have to get a lot of other things going on the farm so that, you know, I'll have things that will keep me busy during the winter time. Now, will this hold 4,200? I think this only holds 4,000, right? Where this might be 4,500. I'll say. I'm definitely going to need a bigger bigger tipper because trying to sell this stuff is going to take forever. So yeah, I believe this holds 4,500 because that just emptied the 42 and it says it's at 93%. Yeah, so all right. So we're going to head back down here. So yeah, like I said, I think this looks really nice. Um, I, I think 
what I'm going to do next is, you know, because this is going to be the end of summer, the fall, I'm not going to be able to do any planting except for grass. I mean, there are other crops to do, but I, none that I can work. I don't have the equipment for them right now. Um, so, I'm thinking if I do this field grass, and, you know, I'm just, it's hard for me to think about that because, you know, the grass goes bad, and I think I'll just go straight across and then do the rest the other way. The grass, you know, it rots over a period of time, and I don't have enough animals to keep it around. I'm wondering if I should just do the grass and try to turn it into uh, silage and just fill up our silage bin that's in the back of the barn, or back of that farm over there. I mean, not that I'll fill it up with just this one, but maybe, you know, until we get a lot more things going, maybe I should go and just try to fill that up. I wonder if the grass that you put in the silage bay, I wonder, does that does that tend to rot after a period of time also? Hmm. You know, I'm not too sure. Like, I don't want to put it in there, because obviously I can't fill that up and compact it and get it all done and ready, you know, in a short period of time. So I wonder if that rots while it's laying in there. Because I could go and you know, do this whole field of grass, drop it in there, and then, you know, come back the beginning of the spring, and it's all done. So that I'm not 100% sure about that, too. I guess just try it and see. <coughs> what I'll do is I'll make a few bales. So that I have enough. You figure, was it every three days? So that's ten times a month. And we're going to have fall, winter. So it's going to be at least six months. About six months, right? So. So we're going to have six, so one, two, three, that's three months, six months, yeah. So what did I say? Ten a month, so I'm going to need 20 bales, maybe do 30, 30, let's do three, three months, 30, yeah, we'll do 30 bales, and hopefully they'll last, um, yeah, see, I can't plant anything else except radish, poplar, grass. Um, well, wait, so how does this work? So it says I can reseed here, and you can even replant here, but when does that come up? Like, if I plant wheat right here and barley, you know, if you do it here, you got three weeks. Three weeks, what am I saying? You have those three months to plant. Then you have three months where it grows. And then you have five weeks to harvest. So if I plant it here, it's growing here. 
but will it grow? Okay. I'm a little confused on that. Well, if anybody's watching this, if you could please help me get some clarification on that. Um, because that I'm unsure about. I haven't... Again, this is my first time... Well, I shouldn't say first time. It's my second time, but the other time I did the Seasons mod, I got really frustrated because I didn't have anything to do. And I was just clicking on, you know, end the day, end the day, that sort of thing. And it got me a little frustrated. So, this is my second attempt to work on the Seasons mod. Because I want to get this down pat before um, 19 comes out so that when I get into 19 you know I'm already in it because I think on 19 if I if I'm correct and what I watched with um, some of the videos that people were talking about it doesn't seem like there's an option for the seasons mod anymore that it's actually just a part of the game so if that is the case you know I really need to learn this and understand it correctly because you know that I'm, I'm going to be getting that it'll be my first time purchasing farming simulator on its um, it's it's first it's new release all the other ones that I've bought you know I bought them well after the fact even this year I only bought this geez I want to say six months ago um, so I'm, you know, trying to get video content out there, and I'll be getting this as a first release, so that'll be exciting. And I want to get out there and get videos going. I would like to do that where it's, you know, first generation, not two years after the game's been out. Um, not that I'm going to be anywhere near the higher end content creators, but I just want to be in the mix, try and get my name out there. So, hopefully I get the Seasons mod situation down pat, where, you know, with how things work. And I think I'll go ahead and do this section over here now, and then we'll save that last bit for the end. wish I knew how, because I'm sure in uh, YouTube somewhere, or OBS maybe, I don't think OBS, because I think OBS is just a recording program, um, I would be able to fast forward through this, I don't have any editing programs right now, I'm hoping to get an Elgato at some point, so that I can do editing. Uh, but for right now, uh, I don't have anything to do that with. I thought YouTube, somewhere in YouTube, they did have a feature where you could, um, you know, speed up time. I just don't know if that does that for the whole entire video or if you can pick specific parts. You know, if you could pick certain parts, that'd be cool because then I could, you know, fast forward through this. But what I really want to do is I want to be able to get to that point and then put music to it. Um, you know, so there'll be music in the background that you can have playing so that, you know, I can do the time lapse part through the, you know, through this part of the harvest. So, you know, we'll get there. Like I said, we're new. We haven't been doing this, but recently we've only been doing it about a week two weeks. I tried earlier in the summer, um, but I had some issues that didn't work out the way I wanted, so I didn't really get to, uh, to do that as well as I had wanted to. Right, so let's move this over. And let's go and dump this. Look at all that lovely canola. It's gonna go sit in our silo. 
and then when the price goes up we are going to go sell it it's a shame because yesterday uh, real time yesterday not game time yesterday the price for canola was it about seven fifteen I think it was fifteen sixty or fifteen seventy which is really awesome but it's not at that now so I think it's only I think it's only like eight hundred and ninety five right now so I couldn't well I could but I don't want to sell it at that price because I can almost double that price shortly. You good? Okay. Um, <coughs> YouTube's down for some reason. <laughs> uh, I went on the tablet, I went through Firefox, Internet Explorer. Luckily I got that other video recorded. It, it happened like five minutes after I got the recording done. So, something must be up with YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so I can still record, because I'm just recording through OBS, but I couldn't do the live stream, so I'll just record and I'll do the live stream at another time. Or what? Is the other one on? Maybe the other one's not on. Yeah, so I'm thinking when I go to plow, we're going to plow this field out and I'm going to use the ground modification tool to readjust the field a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to take it away from the fence over on this, you know, on this right side here. I want to get it a little bit further away so that when we... Um, when we go in this area, I don't, I don't want it to be too crowded there. So I may use the ground modification tool and put in, um, like if you notice on other maps, they have that little outside edge that's on the, on the uh, field itself. It looks, it's like brown, it looks cultivated, kind of chopped up already. Um, I might do something like that around the perimeter. And then this area where I'm heading to right now, I got a lot of room to spread out the field. So I'm gonna I'm gonna plow the field out further over on that side. And that'll make up the difference. And more so because how much I'm gonna lose on the other side near the fence. I'm going to get triple over on this side, so that'll be good. And then we'll do the same thing with the other field. You know, areas we can make it larger. We're going to make it larger. This way we maximize the field area. Now some fields that I've seen, not in the game, actual fields, like in videos and stuff. Um, in fact, a friend of mine just put up on Facebook. He's doing, it looks like he's doing uh, drone aerial photography. And it looked like he was doing a farm in Maryland. And the field literally went right up to the fence. I mean, there was no outside perimeter, no nothing. I mean, it was right up against the fence. So, 
you know, that's something I might consider too, because if that's a little more realistic, you know, then I, I you know, I would want to do that so that it has that, uh, that little bit of authenticity. But again, it's about playing the game the way you like to play it. There's no right way, wrong way. There's only your way and the way that makes you have fun and enjoy the game. Doesn't matter what other people think about that scenario. If they want to play it more realistic or extreme, they can. If they want to play it and, you know, put one row of grass and then one row of wheat and one row of canola and so forth, they can do that if they choose. recording, so I haven't thought about any stuff like that right now. Alright, you know what, let's, let's get this dumped. I know there might be some folks out there that look at this and say, well, why don't you just get the bigger tractor, the bigger tipper, and you could be done this field in five minutes. You know, I'm trying to use the Classics Pack mod that has all the old tractors and tippers and, you know, all the equipment. And I went with the Tuscany map because it's an old Italian map, and I wanted to just you know, do something that got away from the modern equipment, do something a little different with the older equipment. And with the Seasons mod, I thought it would fit in real well because these machines are slower, takes longer to do stuff. So, I, you know, I felt that that would kind of fit in there real good. Um, you know, I'll probably run with this, and we're, we're going to upgrade. You know, obviously I'm going to get the next tractor that's in line after this. We're kind of looking at it from a season's perspective. So, you know, we're about, what, late summer. So we're halfway through our first year. And we're going to go at it by, you know, saving money from the money we make in the harvest, getting different equipment for the upcoming year, you know, and seeing how that's going to work and doing those things to get, you know, upgrades done and stuff like that. So, it'll be a progression, at least up until November 20th, and then once November 20th hits, that's when things might change, because we'll be uh, taking this out of circulation, and we'll have FS-19 started. And we'll do the same thing on FS-19. I don't know if I'll do... I don't know what kind of mods they'll have available. I don't know if they'll have the Classics pack available in that, um, in FS19 yet. That might be something that we have to wait on. But what we'll do is we'll use, um, whatever mods they have available that I like. And we'll go ahead, you know, we'll start from scratch if we have to get the lower modern mod, um, equipment will start there and work our way up. That's all. I don't know how many maps they're going to have. I think there's three maps that they may have available, but I'm not sure. Um, you can look it up. They have a ton of trailers out there that you can look at. If you guys want to check that out, you can, uh, you know, just go to YouTube. You can look it up through YouTube. You'll see a lot of videos out there with it in YouTube. Check out Arthur. Arthur Chapman's got a lot of stuff on there. Uh, pretty up, up and coming. Um, FS19, he does a lot of stuff on that. 
he's a really good form sitting player. And I have started doing live streams, so if you guys are interested in live streams, um, you'll see I got about six or seven, I think, on my channel now. They go from House Flipper, Car Mechanic, um, I think I have an episode of FS17 as a live stream doer. Don't remember, but yeah, go and check it out. You know, let me know what you think. Um, I wanted to do this part, this version today here. I wanted to do this as a live stream, but somehow YouTube went down, and uh, I couldn't go into the live stream. So we'll just go ahead and record it. We'll upload it maybe tomorrow. <coughs> So we're doing good. We're about, I don't know, what, half? Maybe about more than halfway done. Not much more. Okay. Pipe in. And let's turn this back on. There we go. Get the rest of this area. You know what? I think I'm going to hire the worker for that. So that I can go ahead and dump this in the silo. We'll go first person here. Give you guys a different view. Yeah, see I'm afraid if I plant where it had that planting season for the fall. I'm afraid if I plant in the fall, those winter months are just going to kill it. I can't imagine that it would last through the through the winter. I don't I just don't see that happening. I don't know why they have that there like that. But at any rate, we'll go ahead and you know we'll do our thing. Like I said, I'm probably just going to do the grass. I may do the modification on at least this field first before I do the grass. Because I want to maximize <coughs> I want to maximize that. Plus during the winter months or at least the fall months uh, it'll give me something to do. you sir were you able to get on the YouTube? You can't either? Okay. Yeah, no, I can get on Facebook, I can get into Steam, I can um you know, yeah. So it's gotta be a uh, YouTube situation. Oh, excuse me. I apologize, guys. I'm getting a little tired here. Um, yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody over there uh, tripped on a plug or something. <laughs> Could you imagine being over there? You're maybe like a new hire. 
you're just going about doing your thing and kind of get curious about some stuff and the next thing you know it's like you realize what you just did <laughs> that would be pretty scary ground modifier think what we'll do is let's get this guy over and get him hooked up on the plow If you guys out there like uh, Minecraft also, I'm hoping, probably, I don't know, after Christmas, I'm hoping that we'll be able to get Xbox One set up with my, um, and my computer area so that we can do some recordings of Minecraft. For whatever reason, I don't know why Minecraft won't load on my computer. It's really weird because it's a newer computer and it was perfectly fine on my older computer. So I'm not 100% not sure as to why. You know, why that would be. Oh! I actually think I think I might know why now it might still be loaded on my computer could that be it At any rate, um, I have Minecraft on the Xbox One, so I'm gonna, once I get the Xbox One set up um, where I'm going to be doing recordings, I'll be able to play it on there, and I think there's a broadcast option in Xbox One, and then I'll be able to share the video over and put it up on YouTube. So. If you guys are interested, keep an eye out for that probably around Christmas time. We're getting close to getting this field done. took a really nice snapshot or screenshot of the sky. I'm going to put that up on uh, Facebook. It, um, and you guys will be able to see it on Steam too. It will be uploaded on Steam. Yeah, it was really nice. It was over near where your home is on, in, on the map. Right before I was going in to have it, uh, have it go to sleep. And I turned around because it looked really bright. And the sky was just phenomenal, so I got a nice little screenshot of that. Just think, if I can, quickly enough, we'll have all that filled with pigs, we'll have all the sheep going over there, cattle over on the other side. I have a nice little setup going here. Once we start getting a lot of the other fields, I think this field's just going to be um, for taking care of the animals, getting the hay bales, grass bales, um, maybe just making silage bales, you know, um, being able to use that so we can mix up for uh, uh, 
power food and all that good stuff. So this field's going to be utilized a lot of different ways to maintain the farm itself, all the livestock. So this is going to play a this field's going to play a vital role in what we're going to be doing moving forward. That's why I want to make it bigger so that we can really maximize its potential. going to do this last row and then we're going to start heading down the other direction. halfway down. We'll be ready to use those steps. Yeah, you see tomorrow it's going to rain. That Friday, Saturday and Sunday looks good and Monday rain again. So I really need to get these fields, uh, these two fields done. Before that rain comes. That'll get real messy. Alright, here we go. Get this filled up again. <coughs> Yeah, I put it on real time only because I was trying to do the live stream and I wanted to make sure I didn't want it to get away from me too quick before I started the live stream. So but then I forgot once YouTube kind of wasn't working, I forgot to uh, switch it back. So that was a brief advantage because I'm sure it wouldn't be still 7.30 in the morning um, if I would have put that back. So... I think we just <laughs> I think we just secured our position in getting both fields done before Friday. Now if you guys haven't seen any of the other videos, please do take a go, go back and take a look. I, I modified the ground modificator I used here to take care of some of this area uh, by the farm here. I got rid of some things. There were like, you know, there was grass growing in the middle of the kind of like pathways and roadways and you know, kind of did things different, make it look the way I wanted it to look. 
Not that there's anything wrong with how the map creator created things. But the beauty of it is you can go ahead and modify things the way you like. So I did that. There's a lot of dirt. There's more dirt now than there was before. Which in turn will create a very messy situation for your tractors and everything. But I'm sure not all farms are very neat and clean. But, uh, you know, I modified it slightly. Got rid of some of those things you'll see in... take you over here in these areas right here where there's shrubbery I took the dirt ground modificator and rolled over this even though I have removed grass it doesn't remove bushes so I was able to roll over here and just put dirt down so that it would at least have it with a look that it was growing out from the dirt versus the grass color that was underneath it it just didn't look as good some things I missed, like right here, I didn't get that, but I can always go back over and get that. I did modify this pathway, I can cut that out a little bit more there, I think I should get that. Made this wider, got it a little closer to the trees. I did come out this way a little too much, uh, but I can go back over that. I cut into this as well, and we're, you know, made a little dirt area right in here and I did around each of these buildings over here. I left that over there where you see it's got the concrete and some of the dirt. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to leave that as it is. And the grass inside depends. Um, I'm going to leave that. But the fields are definitely going to take, um, take a hit because we're going to modify those as much as we can to get them as large as we can get them and have them look aesthetically pleasing uh, just you know it's just part of my thing I like to have the fields look a certain way usually I always like to have them square rectangle I don't like a lot of um, changes in that but that's something I'm trying to fix with this map as well I don't want them you know some of the fields that you'll see you know um, let's see let's try to move somewhere that you'll be able to see this a little better um, you know fields like 24 has got that little curve to it field 1 goes and hugs the roadway field 4 has got a nice little cut that it does um, so you know these fields are fairly um, easy with the way they're contoured. There's some, if you guys go on some of those Scottish, Irish, English uh, maps that they have, you'll definitely see a lot of strange field type layouts. I've seen some that look like the shape of uh, the number eight, where they literally have like spaces in the middle that's not plowed. There'll be like groups of trees in there or a lake. Um, I've seen fields that are very long narrow fields like this here. Like take this row of canola but then loop it around and turn a corner and go up a giant hill. You know it, it they have a lot of different fields in those other maps. I haven't played those. I've gone on. I've downloaded them. I've driven around, took a look at them. They're, uh, they're unique and they're very nice. The way they look are, are, are beautiful. Um, they, they, you know, I want to play them. Um, but it is something that's a little difficult for me because I'm so used to doing the square fields, rectangle fields, you know, right angles, uh, a lot of U.S., United States uh, type layouts and fields, very large fields, you know, even like this little field here, I'm, this is tiny compared to the fields, you know, I have a Lone Oaks map, and uh, this field, you know, is probably one of the smaller fields I've had on that map, and it's just, uh, you know, it's just how I've played the game, so I want to expand on that. And I'm really curious to see what 
fields they're going to have available in FS19 because I want to take that opportunity to go into those types of fields because they're just so nice. I do have to be careful for frame rate because those fields pack a lot into a small area. So my frame rate on there, you know, could affect recordings. So that's something I'll have to think about also. But yeah, if you guys play those maps, um, you know, give me some feedback on them. They are a lot of fun. I've watched a few videos um, with those maps, and they look great. The barns, or the barns, the farm itself, they've been really tough because a lot of them have like really old buildings on them and I mean very old like rickety buildings and rust everywhere and I'm sure that's what they look like and it's very realistic um, but that's yeah that that takes a little getting used to for me so we're, go we're gonna give it a try and we'll be there This is going to be our third trip, I believe. Fourth trip. I think this will be our fourth trip, actually. To unload. And I'm sure that's going to be able to finish the rest of that up. Won't have to worry about emptying out again on this field. We can head on over to the other field. Alright, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. I know it could get a little boring just watching the harvester do its thing. It's not a live stream. I don't really have anybody coming into this and, you know, watching and playing along and so forth. So I will go ahead and end it here. I thank you very much. Please make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And keep coming back for some really cool content. I thank you very much for your time. This is Crew, and I am out.